Trek, Sega Fredo have kindly allowed us to do a Trek truck tour. It's the 20th take and I've actually got it finally. Let's go inside and take a look. Uh, this is the chief mechanic, Kenneth, who has kindly allowed us to get in his way for a few minutes. Come over here towards the side part here. As you can see, around about 70 Bontrager wheels, which is, of course, the wheels that Trek Sega Fredo use, Bontrager being a part of the Trek company. Now, they have a choice of five different rim depths. They have the nines, which are the deepest. They have sevens. We also have sixes, which actually aren't on the market just yet, but I understand will be in the not too distant future. They've been approved for the team to race already. And then we have the fives here, and the shallowest rim is the three, which Balcomolimo will no doubt be using when it comes to the high mountains. Now over on this side, as you can see, we've got some of the time trial bikes lined up here. This is the time trial bike of Spartacus with the special livery, Fabian Cancellara. Over here, we have Balcomolimo's time trial bike, and Trek have done a lot to make this as light as they possibly can for him for the Hillier time trials, should he choose to use this one. But they've also been going and doing some testing with this Imonda, which, has, as you can see, has got some clip-on bars. So in this 2016 edition of the Tour de France, there is a particularly hilly time trial towards the end of the race. It's actually going to be really interesting to see exactly which bikes all the riders choose to use there. So if you take a look further down here, we can see all of the riders' spare bikes, and that is because they're actually at a press conference at the moment, and they're going to be going out training on their first bikes after that. This is the rather special looking new paint job for one Fabian Cancellara, who as you can see, is still using his super narrow custom bars. Very narrow diameter all the way around there. I've counted three Imondas, so it looks like all the climbers, Pete Stetner, Frank Schleck and Balka Mollema have all got the Amondas and the rest of the spare bikes here are all the Madons. Now we take a look here, of course loads of spare tubular tyres. The sponsor is Belloflex and they will choose between 23 or 25 millimetre tyres. In general they will use the 25 but apparently on some of the time trial bikes they are choosing to go with 23. And I understand that almost all of these are freshly glued tubulars which must have taken the mechanics an enormous amount of time on the run up to this year's Tour de France. Now I've got some drawers down here, which I actually haven't looked in. Whole heap of spare Bontrager saddles and some more clip-on aero bars. Next one down, oh, we've got all the spare stems, etc., in here and handlebars as well, uh, varying whips. Also we've got the Shimano cleats. They're all using the Dura Ace pedals on the bike. So they've got the yellow ones, blue ones, varying degrees of float, etc. I might get this right the right way around soon on the fourth draw. Uh, a load of spare Durace components here. I do love the boxes for Shimano. Not going to open them up, but we've got a whole heap of spares. We've got a spare SRM there as well. More Duro stuff. We have the shifters, we've got the calipers here as well. Before the 2016 Tour de France, I'd never seen one of these, and this is the fourth one I've seen, but very, very cool indeed. A special rig to make sure that riders get all of their different shoes and spare shoes with the cleats in exactly the same position. Because two pairs of shoes that are exactly the same size in terms of 44 or 43 or whatever they might be, aren't necessarily exactly the same size. Or maybe those measurements bits, measurement bits on the bottom of the carbon sole aren't exactly in the right place. This ensures that you have your cleats in the right place, left to right, front to back, and also at the angle as well. Uh, some more spare handlebars in there, the one-piece ones. Up here we have all of the spare chain rings in various sizes. What's the biggest one I can see? 55, I think, is the biggest one that they've got there. Uh, we've got the wheel chewing stand and then a relatively new thing for mechanics, uh, a laptop. Now that is partly to look at the DI2 and do any updates or problem solving, but we also understand that you're keeping track of the inventory. So. They've got this barcode scanner, and each and every part has a barcode, so they can just keep track of everything that they're using, where it all is at any particular point. And apparently that's come from Trek, the company themselves. They use it with their dealers over in the US. Tape, it says. It's actually tape. You can never have too much tape, can you? Glue in there as well. Underneath, wheel magnets and cadence sensors, and a few cool-looking SRM head units as well. Next one down. 
loads of little spare parts. So we've got like cable ferrule ends and we've got some valve extenders as well. Oh, look in here, we've got, I don't even know what you call these. The aerodynamic aids at the front for when you're doing a steering, just in case they break, they've got some spares with them. Spare brake pads, got plenty of them, haven't they? And right in the back corner here, we've got a load of Cyclops trainers. Uh, they are called the Hammer. Apparently they were released just recently at the Tour of California. It's time to look at the Soigneurs area, which is full of nutrition and food. The compulsory washing machine and dryer. Loads of cleaning products in this central part. Over here, you can see a rather plentiful supply of bidons. There's a little hatch down here, which you might struggle to see for the Soigneurs to get them out. But there's also one just outside. Have a look at this. Up here. Oh, loads and loads of zip bits, energy bars, and energy gels and caffeine gels, etc. And I actually have got two nutrition sponsors. Let's close this properly. Which is reasonably unusual, I think. The other one being First Endurance, who make lots of drinks, etc., but don't have any bars or gel, so they need to have the zip bit stuff as well. I'm going to open this. There we go. Lots of red beetroots, Sponsor Pro Mini Trucks. That's very popular amongst the riders. Has been for the last few years, the beetroot juice. Uh, other supplements here as well antioxidants, etc., etc. Oh, not quite so interesting. Uh, compulsory coffee machine over there. Kettle as well, Sega Fredo, of course. And in here, plentiful supply of cereals, rice milk. What's this? Bio risotto. Some organic rice. Up here. Ah, more Sega Fredo supplies. Up here. Oh, I haven't got the code for that. Oh, musettes. They come well packaged, don't they? Check this out, this is the most unbelievable. That's a lot of calories right there. Swan years have been very, very busy getting everything ready for the start. So this is the freezer compartment. And in the fridge here, again, a lot more food. And that's about it, really. Plenty of fruit over this side and some custom small towels, probably for when the riders are warming up before the race is on turbo training. And I think that is just about it. Quite a nice truck, really. Apparently this comes from 2011, so it's now five years old. But if you'd like to see some more truck tours, we have all of them in one handy playlist, which you can find by clicking up in that corner there. Or if you want to see the entire Tour de France playlist, that is in the bottom corner there. Or to subscribe to the channel, just click on the globe. And if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. There's a little icon, it looks a bit like this, just down below.